Thank you very much guys. This is Pro Graphics once again and today we are going to color grade this image using Capture One. So guys stay tuned and stay connected. Okay guys, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, try your best to subscribe to my channel and always remember it's Pro Graphics. Now, let's continue with this tutorial. So you can see that it's so simple. What you can see over here, can, you can see uh, only um, about three to four colors over here. You can see this green and the shade over here. Then you can see the skin tone, then the black that you have over here. So what you are going to do is you just look at the image, what the image is lacking. You can see the highlights are too much. So what you are coming, you come straight to the exposure. So you click over here. I'm using the version 22. So yes. So over here, you look at the, the highlight over. You can see the highlight is too much. So let's reduce the highlight and let's bring the whites down. Okay. Now for you to see what you are doing, you toggle on this one so that you can see the before and after. So this is the after and this was the before. So you can see much more difference in what we are doing. Okay, so we have brought them down. Then let's push the, the blacks down a little bit. Okay. So here, if you want to change the white balance or the color temperature, you just adjust it over here and do that over here. But we are not going to do that. We are not going to increase the brightness or whatever. We are going to leave it like this because we wanted to bring the highlights down and you have done that. So the next thing that we are going to do is, you look at it, you have the colors over here, okay? And when you come over here, you have the lenses over. If there's any lens distortion, you can do that. So let's move straight to our colors. Very, very important. So in our colors, what are you going to do over here? I'm going to look at the color editor. So you can see the basics, you can see the skin tone over here. So what you are going to do is, we are going to use this color picker in Photoshop and in Adobe um, Lightroom. It is, it is color picker, but here it's called um, direct color editor. So we just select this one and let's come to the advanced. So what you are going after you have selected it, you come and select the color that you want to work on. So when I click on it, you can see it over here. So you know that when you talk about here, we are talking about color, right? Saturation and the lightness. So when I move this, you can see that it's changing from one color to the other. Okay, because it has selected the range of the colors that you are working on. So you can see it's changing from one color to the other. So let's push it to the top like this so that it pops out. Now the brightness, let's bring the brightness down a little bit. It's too bright. Okay, good. Then let's look at the saturation. Push it up a little bit. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that is so powerful. Now, so this is one step and I'm going to teach you another step of which you can work on images like this undistractably because right now what we are we have done we have applied to the entire image but let me show you something over here okay so let's go back okay so we have we are starting everything afresh so what we are going to do you come over here and come to new uh, field adjustment layer okay so now we have selected our field adjustment layer you just come over here it's already selected then you come and click your color that you want over here then let's manipulate the hues as we did so you can see let's push it up a little bit okay like this then what you are going to you bring the brightness down as we did okay because it looks too bright then let's push the saturation a little bit so that it looks more saturated good now, when you look at this one and what we did at first, at first you could see that there are some greens in the in the in the in the in the, in the skin. But now you can see that it is well selected and it's well worked on. Now, I told you that if you want to work on it, especially work exactly on this one without not affecting what you are doing over here, you come for your brush okay then you begin to mask it out so let's increase the size of our brush so for you to get this red you press on the letter m on your keyboard okay then you begin to work on that okay so let's press the letter m over here so if you don't want it to be applied only to the uh, so you can see that you have gotten this over here our colors are well popped out so let's come back again choose another field adjustment layer like this then let's come over here 
Then choose this color, the background color. Let's select this background color. I'm sorry. So we come and choose our color editor over here and choose the background color here. Then likewise, as we did, we begin to work on it. So you can see either it goes this way. Okay. So here too, you can manipulate the colors. So you can see. Okay. So this one too is not too bad. Let's look at the saturation. Okay. So you can see. So how you want to manipulate it, you manipulate it. So I think this one is okay. Then let's push the brightness down so that we can the, our image can pop out a little bit. So let's look at the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. This is the before and this is the after. So the last thing that we do is on the skin so that we bring this tutorial to an end. So in your adjustment fill layer, we still choose a color over here in the skin. Then here, we begin to work on the skin tone. So you can see, for instance, like this. Okay, so double click so that you go to normal. Now, if you want to increase the saturation or whatever on the skin color that you have chosen, you just do that. So let's push it something like this. Okay, but basically, you come here, okay, let's delete this one, sorry, let's delete layer 3, which for the skin, okay, let's delete it, so we delete it by clicking on the negative sign over here, so like, let's come to skin tone, it's already selected, then let's select the skin tone here, then over here, you begin to manipulate the skin tone, so you can see, so you can be changing it here and there okay so let's go back to zero then let's come to the uniformity okay so that it blends the color so you push the uniformity look at the saturation so you can see when i push the saturation you can see the difference over here so let's put the uniformity like this saturation the brightness is too much let's come down a little bit okay push on saturation Let's go to uniformity a little bit. Then bring down the highlight in the skin. So you can see the highlight has been brought down. Increase the saturation a little bit. Okay, so guys, let's look at the before, okay, of this image and the after. Before and the after. Before and the after. So let me bring it this way. So you can see here's the before, here's the before, and here is the after. So guys, if you find this tutorial to be helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always remember it's pro graphics. Thank you very much and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.